<laughs> hey, here we are. Look at this. Facebook Live, Hollywood Immersive. I think Lily's coming in. Oh, hi. In. Hey, everyone. How are you going? Who have we got here? Adam. <laughs> have we got, have we got some? <laughs> Let's see if we have anyone coming in. We just started off. So we got one viewer so far. Oh, I think that's me. Right. Uh, I got on the computer as always. I'm just going to do a little bit of readjustment here. Yeah, all right. That's okay. We need to do it sometimes. How's that? Bruce, you maybe uh, less lightish. Yes. You? So we Better. Wanna... I prefer yeah. that. I don't like being blasted. Here's a little bit of uh, uh, pre pre activity banter. Yes. While we get people coming on. Absolutely. Um, cheers. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Here we go. Cheers. This is water. This is water, everyone. Yeah, is water. <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. Oh, well, we want to make sure that you're ready for this. Uh, so, what? who's there? Is anyone there yet? Well, we haven't got anyone. It's late, in the, it's late in the UK and it's what? In Australia? Like it's uh, about uh, 9 10, or 10? 10, 10 a.m. on Thursday. Will you yeah. want to go a little bit closer to us? Oh, okay. I think. Thanks, Adam. Yep. All right. Oh, we have another, we have another viewer. If you've uh, just checked in, let us know that you're there. Right. Uh, we'd love to see you. Uh, love to talk to you. Um, should we get should we get started? Yes. Yeah. So, so, uh, so it's, okay. Go, go so, it. <laughs> if you don't know, this is Bruce Herbal and Earl, who is a dear friend of ours, and who did our program in what two thousand and six sixteen sixteen six, two 16. years ago now. And uh, welcome to Los Angeles again. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah lovely to be back for yeah. the I think the third time now. So, yeah. uh, so awesome. awesome. Now, have you traveled to the United States before Hollywood Immersive, or were you always uh, home in England or whatnot? Yeah, no, I was always. Uh, I kind of never even imagined that I'd even get on a plane for ten and a half hours. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, no, I'd, I'd, I'd never even been to the states. I haven't even been to the states outside of LA. Anyway, so yeah. um, so was, you know, Hollywood Immersive was my first time. And here you are, and in less than two years, you've been here three times. Yeah, man. So what? cool. Yeah. And so, for those that don't know, Bruce is actually here to attend the Daytime Emmy Awards because the show that he stars on, called Free Rain, is up for six awards, right? Six. That's us. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're super stoked, and oh, uh, we're up for uh, Cinematography, uh, Best Children's Show, yeah. uh, Writing, Directing, Stunts. And um, I think one more off the top of my head, I can't, I can't, but that it's, we're all blown away. And uh, it's funny because it's like, it's our little show that we've created in Wales back in England. And it's crazy to think that we've been recognized over the pond. It's, uh, it's, it's awesome. a really nice warm feeling. Yeah, so, great. And, yeah. It's, and we owe it to the crew, like the crew member was, we had a very small crew of about 70, which is, which is tiny for, 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 a, for a show like ours. Um, you know, you think of it, you know, we're doing all sorts of stunts with, you know, horses and, 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 and it's, it's amazing. And uh, the crew was so dedicated and it's you know, quite rightfully so. We've been nominated for all these categories. Amazing. So. so good. And tell me, what is it about the show that makes it so extraordinary? What is it? What is the... It's got to be, it's just got to be the diverse cast that we have. Yeah. You know, everyone's got their own little storyline. Everyone's, everyone has something to submit to the story everyone's got their own little quirks everyone and what's great is that we have such a huge audience you know if you think yeah. about our demographic it's between maybe seven age seven to sort of all the way up to 16 and 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 more but it doesn't matter really what age you are if you if you love horses you will love the show <laughs> yeah. you know it's a very wholesome show it's mm. it's for families it's for children and it's uh, it, there's also a little bit of a bite to it. It has you know has some interesting storylines that uh, in, at least in, in the first season, which is uh, yeah. there's you know a little bit of mystery and intrigue and a little there bit of a little maybe a little bit of backstabbing. Going on. <laughs> so what's what's been going on since first season? What a ride! So we have just been kind of working. Um, on the second season, that's dropping very soon. Uh, I don't actually know when it, when, when, when the release date will be. Mm -hmm. um, it's just lots of exciting stuff. Like I've been working on other projects. Um, I don't know if I can reveal too much yet. Um, no. But uh, yeah, <laughs> who knows? Um, but yeah, like just can do you know what? It's 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 interesting because obviously I'm contracted to Netflix. I have this contract for um, a couple of seasons, 
so who knows whether they'll be greenlit but it's it's coming back to 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 do a second season where you kind of you come back to the same hotel that you're staying in and even though it's sure. nine months later all these memories come back and you know you're friends with the cast again and it's uh it's really nice to return back to a familiar set and a familiar atmosphere yeah great it's a, it's, it's, it's a really touching you know moment and uh Again, we shot for three months, and and uh, and we hope that you know our our audience will will like it. Great, so great. fingers well, crossed. It's a very exciting week for you guys. Yeah, very exciting week. Very cool. Can I can I ask, uh, yeah. ask a question? Let's back up a little bit. I want to know, kind of, Bruce, how you got started in acting. What, what are your like? What, was it always your dream to to be an actor? And you uh, you did a few things before we met you. In Los Angeles, and how did you just get started? What is it about acting that is uh, uh, that is keeping you going and following your dream? It, I'm gonna be completely truthful in that acting. I started acting when I was quite young. I was around nine, ten, eleven, and uh, I saw it as a kind of mess around. I saw it as something wasn't very. I wasn't very serious about it. It was just something that I enjoyed doing to get out of you know, the, the, my, my homework or, you know, mundane. It was something, I remember we had drama class after a maths lesson and I was so excited to get out of maths. And, <laughs> but um, that's what it was to me. And uh, I, th I think my first stage role was playing the Artful Dodger when I was 11 years old in the school play. And, uh, and I kind of never looked back since because it's, it's, as any actor would know, performing on stage is just the most unique feeling. And uh, that's what it was for a very long time. It was just a unique feeling and it was a hobby. And when I hit 16, I wanted to kind of find out a little bit more about, um, you know, the film, particularly the film and TV area of acting. And uh, I signed up, I didn't have an agent, I signed up to a couple of casting websites like Star Now. Like Star Now, yeah. Um, we'll talk about Star Now in a second. Yeah, we will. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just kind of getting, I made a profile and, and uh, yeah, the jobs, jobs started listing up and I just kept applying and then one thing led to another and I was meeting people, making contacts. It took a long time, but, uh, but yeah, here I am now I'm with an agent and uh, thing, thing, things, are looking, things are looking good. That's so it's, it's, it's great that what was once a hobby has now turned into a career. Yes, so. absolutely. Yeah. Let's talk about Star Now and let's talk about the competition that you won. How many times did you actually apply for the competition before you won? Three. Oh my goodness. Third time lucky. <laughs> and I saw you every single time. <laughs> Third time lucky. Yeah, thanks Lee for uh, delaying. <laughs> Sorry, <me>. love. <laughs> um, but no, to be honest, like the first two times, I, I don't think I would have been ready for, a, yeah. uh, for, for this kind of momentous kind of week that you guys put on at Hollywood Immersive. And the, the thing actually, you know, with the competitions with Star Now, people do apply time and time again. And we see you, don't think we don't see you because we absolutely do. Yeah, we look through each and we every look through everything. submission. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, just keep applying. And, and there's often a lot of uh, finalists, you know, sometimes they repeat and, yeah, just um, you never know what's going to happen. Just keep applying. Like, yeah. also, every time you apply, make sure your profile is looking as good as it gets. Yeah, totally. Uh, as, as, as good as it can be. Because Lily, uh, when she's looking through the applicants, she wants to see updates as well. She wants to see that you're kind of dedicated to doing this and, and, and uh that's, yeah. that's the advice I can give on that. Yeah. Let me uh, just pause for a second. I see some people have joined into the right. conversation. We want to give them all a shout out. <laughs> Hello. Uh, uh, Andrew Lorenzo. Hey, you know, Andrew. We did our program a while ago. You're always such a, such a great to always tune into what we're doing. Thank you so much. Uh, for, those of you, for those of you who uh, have a question for Bruce, yeah. you know, someone who's done the program, uh, someone who has uh, worked on a professional set, uh, it's different than um, and someone that's here uh, yeah. for the show, you know. Yeah, you know, it's, it's very exciting. Like all these crazy awards, which is amazing. So we would love to take your questions, right, Adam? Yeah. Um, I, I've got some questions as well for you, Bruce. Um, and I would just sorry, am I cutting into you? No, I was just wondering if you had any questions I, for me. <laughs> no, you. Well, we'll, we'll do my questions next time. <laughs> okay. It's all about Bruce. <laughs> So part of um, Bruce's journey right now is obviously, you know, what you've been doing, which is incredible, but it's also about making these other amazing and maintaining all these relationships in the business, right? Mm -hmm. You're here in LA before uh, 
the data on Emmys to take lots of meetings with casting directors and directors and whoever else. What do you do to maintain all of those relationships? Because they're very important. Absolutely. Yeah, if you're like me, you live outside LA, a different country, I live, I'm from the UK, it's, uh, it's really important that you are constantly, not constantly, but once every, I'd say like every month, just kind of sending out an email to those that you've met, just saying, hey, um, this is what I, this is, I, I met you whenever, if it's the first time that you've emailed since meeting them, just like updating them on what you're doing. Um, the sorts of plays that you are kind of interested in doing, or you know, the, sort, the sorts of roles you're interested in playing. Um, and if you feel, and if yeah, if you feel like you can um, kind of get a conf it's all about conversation. Get that conversation going. Get that those email threads um, um, going. It's all about um, yeah. Uh, if you can do that in in you know without being too pushy. Yeah. Or too um, weird, right? You've just got to too manage weird, it. Too weird, too too informal as well. Yeah, um, if good you, advice. If you, it's, it's very much, it's a, it's a balance, and you've got to very much type on instinct, you've got to very much um, act on instinct with, with, with these types of people. Yeah, and I, and I think you're saying something very important here is, is there is a consistent follow-up to build relationships, and it's not something that's in your face every day, but it's not... Also, that the first person that you meet someone, they're instantly going to be your best friend no. and there to help you along. It's, it's, it's a give and take. Mm. And it, it, it takes time to cultivate a relationship in this business. Absolutely. It really, and, truly does. And you, and you just can't ask someone to give you. Give you have to you have to be able but to give back as I well. I think you just have to gently, gently, and this is what we're talking about, is chip away at, you know, and, and, and be really, really, um, you know, wonderfully polite and all of that but for those that you are not getting much back from which of, often happens in this business and I'm not necessarily saying this is for you it's just gently chip away at those relationships and to you know just send things backwards and forwards I myself have had the best success from people that I met years and years and years ago that maybe you know just sort of fizzled out or whatever that I've actually reached back out to and suddenly it's like amazing you know, and, yeah. and you you redo, you sort of reform that relationship, and yeah, so you just never know where things are going to go. So always be wonderfully polite and cool with everyone. Mm. That's, my, <laughs> that's as that's, you would be, and that's as you perfect, would be. absolutely. Well, I don't know about Adam. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> I just want to say something as well. Like, if you find them on Instagram or Twitter or social media, I wouldn't necessarily kind of contact them through there. I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd kind of go through that through their business email and stuff like that. Make it keep keep it professional if you can. Yeah. Or LinkedIn, maybe. A LinkedIn, yeah. yeah, yeah, cool. Adam, have you got a question? Uh, or are people asking questions? Well, let's see. Oh, we have uh, just some people that have joined in. Uh, Taya Calder Mason Taya. has just joined in. Taya. Hey, congratulations to you. Congratulations to you on your yeah. film. We cannot wait to see Fight it. Fight like a woman. Yes. Yeah, I saw the trailer. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like not not trailer, but like um, production. Yeah, images. yeah, yeah, uh, amazing. The one I put on Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Her fighting. Awesome. Um, Don't you know what? Next time Tay is in town, we're going to have her live yeah. on this couch because yeah. she's also someone that's doing incredible things yeah. and making things happen. We just love her for it. Yeah. Um, uh, so if anyone that's uh, currently watching, come on, you hit me up with questions for uh, Bruce. What else do we I, have for him? I've got a question for you, Bruce. Okay, so for people that are that feel like that they are being overlooked in the business, you know, or they're not getting mm. any sort of response or right. whatever, what do you reckon that people should do? that's a hard thing you know we all take Getting, it really hard right yeah it's it's there's a lot of rejection in this industry and there's a lot of nothing at all you don't hear back from anything at all i, I get it all the time like, like it's yeah it's something you gotta deal with and it's 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 something that you gotta if you're not necessarily hearing back from stuff so say like an audition or you know that you thought you did really well in that you thought yeah i smashed it i hope i get something back and it's been like a week or two weeks or even a month and you haven't, it doesn't necessarily mean you sucked. Do you know no, what I mean? That's it, it. These casting directors get so many submissions and ask for so many self tapes. Um, you can rest assured that they'll be watched. Yeah. Um, but because they have so, so many to watch, they don't necessarily have the time to reply to each and every person. Um, so even if you're, I know it's hard, but even if you're not hearing back for stuff, you just gotta. You gotta just keep pushing. Yeah. It's, it's really as simple as that. Yeah, but just, easier said than done. You and keep I mean? your spirits up. You know, you have to try and keep your spirits up during this time as well. It's very Again, important. yeah. Again, easier said than done. Which yeah. is why 
um, a lot of actors spend a lot of time doing other things yeah. to kind of take their mind off it. Yeah. Hey, I got a question that's just come in from Amelia Conway. Thank you for joining us Hi, again. Amelia. Uh, Bruce, hi. What's your favorite memory of any scenes you've done? Why does it stand out to you? Ah, oh, that's easy. So <laughs> in, uh, in, uh, the, on the 10th episode of Free Rain, there was, uh, there was a scene um, where my character and Zoe, the lead, share a moment. So Marcus gets a letter uh, confirming that he is, I don't know, I, don't, uh, I can probably spoil it for you guys, I don't know. Um, it's on the air, it's been on. He, he, he receives a piece of good news and he twirls the main, Zoe, the main character, around, they're super happy. Apart from the fact that it was minus one when we shot it, <laughs> I was freezing my hands, it was the last day uh, on set, uh, everyone was so excited to, to, to kind of be done with the show and kind of see it already and kind of edit the edit and stuff like that. And, I remember that in particular because I I struggled that day and it was frost and you can on on camera you can see the kind of the the, the, the breath uh, coming out of our out of our mouths so that's why that stuck out for me. That's awesome. Um, a lovely lovely chilly day to end it all. <laughs> so what happened in that moment? What do you mean what happened in, that <laughs> in the scene? Like what else? Like how did it how did it go? Oh well, you know there was a bit of kissing. Well, <laughs> what do you know about that? <laughs> Um, and it wasn't it like at sunset the sun was going down. Oh yeah, you guys no, said? it was it was actually the morning. It was like maybe oh. half six, seven a.m. Um, and yeah, beautiful sunrise, and it was kind of gleaming off the off off off, off the the grass because the grass was all white for the frost. It was like November, mid November, so it was super late, but it was still sunny, and it was such a magical moment in the scene. Beautiful, and uh, yeah, it was, we, we we got some great footage that day. So, right. You know, nice. Am Amelia uh, just commented that the uh, kissing would warm you up. With the kissing warm you up. I don't kiss and tell, Amelia. <laughs> no. no, no spoilers about the second season, which is uh, which is coming out soon. Mm -hmm. cool. uh, what else? What uh, we have another question for Bruce in terms of, um, you know, you have uh, you come to Los Angeles and you just met with your managers and you're setting up meetings. And what is it something that you can glean from these meetings that you're meeting with casting directors and the importance of, of mm -hmm. that, getting them to know you and how do you act in the room? How do I act in the room? Um, you don't act in the room. You just, you just, <laughs> well, how do you, how's your, you, what's your general like disposition general. in the room? Not if, it's, if it's like a general, um, just literally just be yourself, like just go in. Um, I find that the, the best meetings that I have is, are, are when I'm calm and relaxed. Yeah, sure. Um, maybe have like get get some energy in you just before have like a coffee. Uh, I I know I have a coffee. I have a nice coffee here at Sunny LA. So I have I have a nice coffee before but um, before every every meeting. Is that kind of a routine? Yeah. yeah. I I also I also like sit there and clean my glasses as well. It's kind of just focused <laughs> like, when I'm waiting in the waiting room. Um, but no, like just like literally just relax. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they're not there to kind of bite your ear off. No, and obviously you go into the room, right, and you're probably more relaxed if they're relaxed. Oh, yeah, yeah. for sure, yeah. for sure. And you, you do actually, you, you do kind of vibe off the person sit, sitting opposite you. So, for example, I had a meeting recently where the, the casting director had been casting all day, and I was straight after. I was just, they, they, it was probably the last thing that they wanted to sit, they, they wanted to do. Um, but because I could sort of sense that I kind of I, I, I kind of just elevated my energy levels just a little bit to kind of um, elevate his and and the, the, the meeting went really well because of it because uh, right. yeah it was um, you just you got to kind of got to gauge the audience in the room and, uh, and and relax that's the most important thing very cool very cool so Bruce you did Hollywood immersive and then you flew back to England right and then the day after you actually had your audition for free rank. Yeah. How did you go with that? Because we know what it's like when the program's done. You <laughs> right. know, everyone jet is lag. like exhausted. Like exhausted. Yeah. And jet lagged. And then and you were flying. on a plane and jet lagged, yeah. but it was mad. It was um it was really it was special it was a special moment after that audition because I went for uh, I was I remember it distinctly because um I was in Nando's just before <laughs> I just started Nando's to kinda fuel me and um, yeah, I was, it's not a paid advertisement for Nando's. Yeah, sorry, I just <laughs> no, okay. um, Nando's is a is a chicken place for anyone who doesn't know. Um, but yeah, no, I had had um, this uh, audition. It was just like any other audition. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I get called into the room, uh, we do the scene and it was thank you, thanks for coming in. Um, and then I was called back again, cool, it was a recall, that's great. And then again, and then the chemistry, sorry, the chemistry reads came around and, and um, I'm just, do you know, I'm so grateful because I think that I took everything that I did on, on, on the Hollywood of that intensive week at the Beverly Hills Playhouse and I brought it into the room with me. I'd, I'd, I'd soaked up all this information and knowledge um, from the teachers like Gary and, and, and Michael and Jeremy and uh, and I think I think I just kind of just yeah I, I do you know what? I don't really remember the audition itself I just I just remember just doing it and not really thinking twice about it. Were you surprised you got called back? Uh, yeah absolutely I'm always surprised when I get called back. <laughs> I normally I'm quite self-critical so whenever I come out of an audition I always kind of overthink things but yeah right. Um, it's a thing that it's a thing that all of us actors have to yeah. kind of deal with and get get better at not to overthink and stuff like that so we all um, do it you know yeah all we of care us. so much about it yeah it's 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 our career we yeah. want to we we want to be the best person that we can be yeah and um yeah sometimes your head doesn't want you to be yeah so yeah so yeah very cool so okay so in two days time you've got the daytime Emmys, and I'm really excited to know what are you wearing. <laughs> what am I I've wearing? I've been dying to ask you. Oh, so <laughs> it's mental. Like I've had a stylist and stuff come and like measure me. Um, I'm wearing a D squared. Okay. Which is a I think is a is, is a is a really kind of nice rep, reputable company out here in LA. Um, I'm wearing a nice metallic blue um, with super shiny shoes that arrived Stunning. a couple of days ago. Uh, I'm is, it, is the metallic blue, is it like a midnight dark blue or is it it's light like a, blue? Yeah, nice navy dark oh, blue. Stunning. Yeah, with like a white shirt and a black bow tie. Okay. Um, I can't wait, it's going to be like, wow. I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit nervous actually. Are you? Now. Yeah, it's, it's getting closer to the occasion. What are, what are you mostly nervous about? It has to be the small talk. Yeah. I, 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 I yeah, can't. I, sure. <laughs> Um, sure. I'm not very good at it, but it's something I've been working on, and uh, you got to work on as an actor if you uh, if, if 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 you want to book a couple of jobs. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, but it's, it's going to be good. Very, that's totally fine, and that's yeah. you know, it's, it's going to be an experience. Yeah, I can't wait. It's absolutely. How exciting, Bruce! Amazing. Thank you. Do we know what uh, what's next coming up for you? That uh, anything that you could talk about that. Uh, uh, you can share. Yeah, absolutely. I filmed an episode of Casualty, which is a uh, you you guys in the UK might know. Um, so that's airing sort of mid July, which is cool. Um, it's great when you're working in between seasons to get different work. You know, it keeps you on your toes and keeps you busy, and it keeps the income coming. Sure. Um, so uh, so that's coming out mid July. So I'll uh, I'll be posting on my social media about it. I'm sure. Very so good cool. Stuff. Hey, uh, Michael Pettit just joined in. Is hey, there anything you'd like to say to you, Michael? Hey, Michael, miss you, man. Hope you're well. <laughs> I just, I imagine him sitting behind his computer in his nice black round <laughs> and, his, and his huge boots that he likes to wear. <laughs> Hi, Michael. Yeah, I know he's smiling. He's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> no, Michael's the best. Cool. Um, Michael says, hey, guys. Hey, Bruce, great to see you growing and prospering. So, oh, bless. Thank you very much. Thanks, Michael. Very nice. Oh, he's, like, he's laughing. He knows. Yeah. <laughs> he knows what he's wearing. He knows it all. Um, we just had Michael in uh, a couple days ago doing a live Facebook chat. We're talking about um, you know, a new webinar coming out in June yeah. that Michael is going to be doing, really focused on acting and whatnot. We're really looking forward to getting into that. Yeah, and so, in fact, don't forget our one that's coming up in May, yeah. uh, mid-May, called Activating Your Career from Wherever You Are in the World, and we can't wait to bring that to you guys. It's going to be really awesome, and that is um, yeah, something that people can access from wherever they are in the world, and it's so much great information, and it's free, totally free, so that's oh, nice. All free, all good. All free, all good. Nice. Cool stuff. So, uh, do we have anything else for Bruce? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Bruce, is there anything that you would like Any... to kind of finish off with? Or, you're good? Season two on Netflix very soon. <laughs> just oh, kidding. No. no, I'm just kidding. Um, no, free thank, reign. Thank you Netflix. Guys. Yeah, free reign Netflix. Thank you so much for joining us today. And thank best you for of having luck. Me. Thank you so much. Best of luck and have the best time on Friday. It's going to be absolutely memorable. And have just best of luck and enjoy every single moment. Oh. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. It's been oh, awesome. One before we end, uh, Georgia Crisfield Smith, who we Georgia. just saw. Hey, Georgia, says uh, good luck at the Emmys. Oh, thank so, you very much, Georgia. Yeah, she, thank you. she is terrific. 
So thank you for uh, joining in and everyone and everyone who will be watching the recording of this later. If you guys have any questions or any comments for Bruce, we'll get them to them. We'll get them answered for you. Absolutely. And uh, we just love having you guys join us and uh, seeing what we're all about. Absolutely. So we're lucky to have Bruce back in Los Angeles. Thank you, Bruce. And, uh, you know, anyone who, uh, you know, comes by, we're, we're happy to have them. So. Cool. Bye. Thank you so Bye, much. Bye, everyone. Keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>